Folks, I have here behind me the, I think the largest male collection purchase that we have ever done. You can see one, two, three, four, five large boxes full of stuff. And it's not like, it's good stuff too. I'm really excited. We've got a ton of box stuff. This was the first one that we opened because don't tell anyone we already took a thumbnail with this stuff. Um, but everything else in here you can see is unopened. It's going to be kind of a surprise because when I buy collections like this, I'll look at like the overall price charting value of what somebody sends me and we'll agree on a price based on that. Then when it gets here, I'll inventory everything, make sure that it's all here. So like most of this stuff, I don't know. I don't know what's in it. And I'm really excited to go through it on camera with you guys, at least as much of it as we reasonably can. Starting off here, with looks like a whole bunch of GameCube games. Okay, well the GameCube games actually don't go that deep. I don't know if we've got more GameCube stuff elsewhere, but look at this. I, like when I tell you guys that we have a ton of boxed games in this collection, look, this is one box. Get, get in here, Spanky, get the close up. All of the, this is all NES looks like. I mean, just an absurd amount and it's just, it's gonna be so fun. Normally I don't buy this much like, boxed retro stuff because it's just it's hard to find um so big shout out to alec for uh who is the viewer who has uh thought of us and decided to sell his collection to us really appreciate you hope you're happy with this deal the only obstacle for this purchase in particular is as you guys can kind of see uh usps was not friendly with these boxes um the worst one being this right here this actually arrived first and you can see I did not make this cut here. Um, this happened from USPS. I would highly recommend if you guys do sell us a collection at any point, especially if it's a lot of stuff and a lot of value. Thick walled boxes are really key. They hold up a lot better when people are, you know, throwing them around as they often do. And it, it's not just a USPS thing. It's UPS, it's FedEx. You just, you can't trust mail carriers to handle your stuff the way that you would with all the care that you would. Um, but folks, let's get into a few of these and then we're actually going to reorganize this a little bit. This is how I put everything for the thumbnail, but it doesn't really make sense visually. So look at this, this is the kind of stuff. Target, Renegade, literally have never sold this game complete before. Trog, I actually have sealed right now. I'm trying to sell in graded form. It's not moving for me. Uh, Tetris Complete, that one will go very quick, I'm confident. NFL, Racket Attack. We've got a really wide variety here of uh, dollar values. Oh my gosh, I can't even read that. Uh, gur, gur, sub, what is that? Magic of... Stealth, Assault. Ooh, this is cool. Mendel Palace. Dungeon Magic, Millipede. Some of these games, I don't know if I've had even loose before. Karnov, I definitely have. Good old Karnov fighting a, looks like, what is that? Pterodactyl just shooting a little ball of flame at him. That's kosher. Uh, we got Silent Service and Baseball. Oh, another GameCube game, Gun and a Game Boy Color. This is gonna be so much fun to go through. Kid Cool, Beetlejuice, awful movie. Awful movie. Disagree with me in the comments, I dare you. Uh, Bionic Commando, maybe the worst movie I have ever seen. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Uh, Dr. Chaos, seriously, I would never, ever watch this movie again on Halloween or otherwise. Uh, if you ever want to invite me over and ensure that I have a very bad time, put on Beetlejuice on any kind of TV, I will I will be clawing my eyes and my ears out. Uh, magic darts. So a lot of these will be like the kind of thing that we end up lotting up. Fighting golf. Maybe we'll make like a golf game lot, who knows. Uh, it's uncommon, like I said, to have this much box stuff to really figure out what to do with. Infiltrator, Vice. This is getting a little bit cluttered and complicated, so we're gonna go ahead and reorganize and then and then, uh, you know, you guys won't have to watch us do that because um, the magic of editing. Why, hello there. Welcome back to the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my NES neighbor? Uh, how about this setup, folks? How about this? How about the Mandalorian in the back watching over us? Uh, ooh, we got Dino Wars. Boy, as a kid, I would have loved that. 
uh, this one, this one. By the way, I think somewhere on here we've got, yeah, look at that. We've got the P.O. box that you can send stuff to if uh, you guys are so inclined. Actually, uh, that is maybe not true at the point that this comes out because in the next couple weeks, we're gonna be moving. Um, I'm not sure if the P.O. box is going to move with us, so obviously if you have a collection you're looking to sell, um, make sure to check first. Obviously, you'd have to email us either way to agree on price and stuff like that. For anyone who's wondering, we pay, depending on what the collection is, 40 to 50% of price charting. It goes up higher if it's like higher dollar stuff. Um, and, but if it's mostly like filler and stuff like that, especially $12 and under titles, I really can't pay much for it all because after fees, um, you know, I really can't get a whole lot for them. Holy cow, is this sealed? Uh, oh no, it's just partially sealed. Still kind of cool. Skate or die. Looks like the seal comes off halfway up there. This is the first loose stack up. Interesting. Did we, I think we recently sold this on mm -hmm. whatnot. And oftentimes when I film these kinds of videos, I'll get a lot of comments, a lot of DMs asking, hey, like, where can we buy this stuff from you? First of all, I appreciate that so much. Uh, people just wanting to support the channel and, you know, seeing something they like that they need for the collection. Usually my answer to that is pretty bad because most of our stuff, if it can go to Amazon, it usually does just because it's a lot, it's easier to scale that. You know, I can list a lot of stuff and send it all off quickly. But all of this boxed stuff, uh, pretty much if it's retro and it has its original box, I'm not going to be sending that into Amazon. Um, so these are going to go into a variety of places. Uh, one of them there's gonna be a high-end whatnot auction happening at some point the week that this is posted. Uh, Jake, Editor Jake, uh, if you could text me when you're editing this and get the actual date and time, because I don't know what it is right now. I don't know if they know, but they're doing like a big event that's only high-end and it's like a series of different sellers. And they said, hey, do you wanna be a part of it? And I said, heck yeah. Even though I have been a little bit wounded in the past with the graded games, uh, that was more my fault than anyone's just because the graded market is pew, but I'm trying it again because I still have a bunch of them um, and a bunch of these box titles. Some of the best ones uh, are going to be in that one in that auction as well. So uh, if you guys are interested in anything you're seeing here, most of this will probably like the high end stuff will be in that high end auction. And then at some point we'll have to have a box NES auction because like I've just, I've literally never had this much of it before. And a lot of it, like just based on the weight of these, if you'd handle a lot of uh, NES stuff, you can kind of start to tell, like, is it just a cartridge in there? Is it manual and inserts and everything? And I think a lot of these actually are complete. Uh, this one I feel has some value. It may not actually, but I at least feel that way. So that counts for something. Uh, Star Voyager. And look at this folks. We're at the bottom of box number one. Whoa. This is a little bit of a, I don't know why the uh, flap is on the outside there. This is, what's what's up with all these very difficult to read fonts? Cybernoid. Cybernoid. Is this a good game? NES, I'm not gonna lie people. Like, I talk about, you know, I joke about being a fake gamer because people call me a fake gamer a lot. I will full, with NES, I will 100% embrace it. This is before my time and I don't really enjoy going back to it. I, I don't, I, most of it I don't think really holds up that well. Uh, I feel very different about the SNES. I think a lot of those games do hold up super well. And also if I said anything different, I think I would be uh, publicly executed. But I actually do feel that way in terms of, in terms of retro consoles, I think the SNES versus NES is a very different experience. Let's bring these over here. Check this out. We're gonna get a little stack going as we go through this color. Oh, geez. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Live on camera, folks, making saves like a, like a professional goalie. Look at all, this is box number one. How crazy is that? and we're not even done. The thing that gives me um, some hope with all of this, that makes me a little bit optimistic, even though it was treated so rough in the mail by USPS, um, so many of these have plastic protectors on them. That helps protect the condition a lot, especially when they're all stacked on one another. That can really result in some box crushing normally. 
but these plastic protectors help a ton. So definitely grateful to see that. As long as we didn't have any actually fall out of this one with the big hole in it, I think we'll be okay in terms of condition. Every once in a while we'll have to make invoice adjustments if like it shows up in a very different shape than uh, what we agreed on previously. Obviously we'll contact the buyer and everything and kind of work through that. I'm hoping that this one will be pretty much standard. All right, folks, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna, we're gonna get this uh, ripped boy up onto the uh, surgery table and take a peek under the hood. Got it open here, folks. Look at this. We've, oh, we've got a whole bunch of, looks like they organized the uh, black box games here. Mario Bros, Mario Bros, Pinball. Uh, Ninja Gaiden is not actually, but look at this slalom with the uh, turkey going down the hill. Have I ever told you guys how much I hate Beetlejuice? Boy, what an, what an awful movie. Uh, Kung Fu, Pro Wrestling, Ice Climbers. That's really cool to see. And it looks like at this point, we're also branching out a little bit from the NES because we've got a whole, ooh, this is a big one. Final Fantasy III complete. This thing looks minty as well. Love to see that. That's the kind of thing that probably would be in the higher end auction. And maybe, I, I don't know what the value is on this. Mario Bros. 3, probably not. That's probably a little bit more common. This game I played a ton on my, on my good old Game Boy Color as a kid. I had the Kiwi uh, Color. Let me know what color you had. Did not have, my sister actually had the Atomic Purple. Uh, Casino Kid, Orb, Orb 3D. We got Fester, what a bro. And we got a bunch of Game Boy stuff down here as well. Uh, what is this? Revenge of the Gator. We've got uh, Play Action Football. Ooh, this is a good one. Double Dragon, is it a good one? At least one of these games is worth a pretty good amount. Uh, I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. It looks like a kind of standard side-scrolling beat-em-up slash platformer. Again, I'm not an NES man and I will not apologize for that. Whoa. Uh, soccer. We've got The Simpsons. Is, ev is literally everything in here boxed retro? Ooh, look at this. This is a uh, NES classic console. Absolutely minty in the box. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't played because probably most of the games on there they had in you know original physical form so they probably didn't need to. Alec you can let me know if you actually ended up playing that but either way great condition on that. Um, we've got Zelda Link to the Past. This is the kind of game that I actually would be tempted to go back to. Uh, although it also was remastered on the Switch, so am I gonna... Uh, I love... I'm just a, such a sucker for the Switch, folks. What what can I even say? Oh, dang. Wow. Oh, we've got an N64. Duke Nukem. I think that's our first one of those. Are these sealed? Dang. We've got a sealed RC Pro-Am. Unless, have the tops been cut on these? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, see, it almost had me. The top is definitely cut on that one, but this one, this one's not. Wario's Woods is our first sealed NES game of the batch. Dang, it's in great shape too. We'll definitely have to look up value on that. Is it the kind of thing that I would consider grading? Maybe, but also I've, I've been grading almost nothing recently, uh, just because I've already talked about it. The market's cooled off. Final Fantasy 2, that's another great one. At this point, I'm trying to mostly filter out just like the best titles because I don't want this video to be three hours long. Although, I, let me know in the comments, would you like a video like that where I literally go through every single one? Maybe we could do that with the next large collection that we buy. I, I feel like that would get tedious after a while, but you guys can tell me. Uh, Super Mario Advance, I love to see these like main first party titles. Looks like that's most of what Alec collected in terms of the GBA so far at least. Uh, Yoshi's Island Mario Advance 3, Final Fantasy, uh, Dr. Mario on the Game Boy, 
Spanky, why don't you pick something out of here? What's what's catching your eye? Cal Ripken baseball, obviously. Ooh, Cal Ripken baseball. He signed it. He signed it. Actual actual signed copy. Wow. He must have gone to a baseball game with uh, that gentleman and said, "Excuse me, sir. I know you're batting, but could you? What a guy, Cal Ripken." Taking, taking time off in the middle of a game to just help out a fan. Uh-oh, we've got our first uh, casualty. Looks like the, you can kind of see down there, the uh, plastic protector uh, came loose and this guy may have gotten a little bit crushed. It is tough when you've got, yeah, you can see a little bit of crushing uh, on the end there. That is, that's a shame. Uh, it's kind of an, like if you have a box this large, that's a bunch of boxed retro stuff all stacked up on each other. You know, you're usually going to have at least something happen uh, if there's not also a bunch of like padding interspersed in there uh, so that all the pressure's not on, you know, some of the lowest and most central games. Uh, but nonetheless, Turok 2, a great one to see complete. Uh, what do we have here? Extra innings, uh, a couple of NES sports games. I'm sure Spanky is very excited about those. Mm -hmm. Look at this though. Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask complete. You just, you love to see it. Ooh, we've got a really nice handful of GB, of uh, GB games. Well, yeah, G, well, and GBA. See, I was, I was debating what abbreviation to use there. I didn't quite know. Let's just go through. Ooh, we got a big stack here. Rapid Fire. We've got Super Mario Bros. NES Classic Series. We've got uh, Xevious, same thing. We've got Castlevania. Uh, Mario, Super Mario Bros. 2. Donkey Kong. We got Game Boy. <laughs> we got Game Boy Advance. We got Metroid. Uh, Super Mario Land 2. A couple of Zelda games here. Boom, boom, and boom. I love the continuity there, by the way. Cross, cross handheld. Look at that. Iconic branding. This is really just an eclectic mix in this box here. We've got the uh, Game Boy Advance version of Dr. Mario. We've got Castlevania II Simon's Quest. We've got a bunch of, looks like, sealed 3DS stuff here. Uh, this one, hopefully Alec got, no! <laughs> hopefully Alec got this one when it was on clearance. Zelda Triforce Heroes and also A Link Between Worlds. Looks like, yeah, these are all in nice protectors as well and in great sealed shape. You love to see that. Good on Alec for uh, just, taking, just taking condition and preservation seriously. <gasps> Finally. Finally it has happened. Oh, I really hope this is in good condition. Alec. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, I've mentioned in a few videos, not this channel, but the main channel, that I've been looking for a boxed Mario 64 in nice shape, and Alec had one in this collection. Oh, I'm so excited, and it's not even, um, Great, or wait, is it Greatest Hits or, I think it's Player's Choice for the N64. It's not even Player's Choice Edition. Wow, I'm just, I'm so stoked. This is going to have a home in my permanent collection uh, for a very long time. It's gonna go right up here with my other box N64 games. And actually, I may have to do Mario Kart 64 for that as well. I never had, believe it or not, I never had Mario Kart 64. Growing up, uh, I wish I did. I guess, I don't know why. I don't know, eh, eh, I don't know why. But these two absolute, maybe the most, maybe the two most iconic N64 games and just having these up on the shelf in hopefully a future game room basement. Uh, we'll see once the business moves out of it. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty with what the heck is going to happen decorating wise in our future home. But right now, these aren't even going on the regular stack just so that we don't forget. They're going right up here. Don't worry, they won't cover up the GameCube Gambit forever. And honestly, very soon, probably in the next week or so, everything on here is gonna be packed up because we are moving out quite quickly. Really excited to see that though. Really appreciate you, Alec, that, uh, there, it's not often that I get collection pieces that I'm really excited about, but to get this one this way uh, is just great. I, you just gotta love it. Ooh, 
Adventures of Adventure of Link on the NES in really nice shape. That's a great one to see. All right, folks, so here are the gems that I picked out to show you guys from the remainder of the box. A sealed ice climber on the uh, Game Boy Advance, the original Contra, the original Final Fantasy. Ooh, this one's really heavy. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a poster or something in there as well. Um, Metroid, Bomberman, a few different uh, classic NES. I don't know why I like these so much, complete on the Game Boy Advance. Then Mega Man 3. And in addition to that, we have this uh, little miscellaneous uh, uh, bubble wrap grab bag here of Harvest Moon on the GameCube. We've got, ooh, Eternal Darkness on the GameCube as well. And finally, Crazy Taxi Loose. Never going to complain about getting GameCube games in. And what is this? Batman Returns on the Super. We've got Final Fantasy XII on the GBA, or not GBA, the DS. My mind, this whole this whole thing is a little bit overwhelming right now. I'm, my mind is going a, a mile a minute. Mario Golf on the 64, Mortal Kombat 4. That is not one that I feel like I get all that often in collections. And finally, we've got GoldenEye. We've got uh, Style Savvy, very nice. I feel like... That one may actually have gone up in value a little bit this last year. Maybe it's gone back down, I'm not sure. Um, Tetris, Metroid 2, and finally, good old Mega Man. And that is it. <laughs> That's it for box number two of five in this collection. Spanky did a great job over here organizing everything that we have so far into some, uh, into a small mountain of boxed retro stuff, which is just super exciting. Like, a collection like this is just so rare to get in. I'm just, uh, you know, makes me grateful to be doing what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and get into this next box and catch up with you guys once we've sorted a little bit. All right, folks, box number three. Ooh, okay, looks like we're getting into some more modern stuff here. This is a really, really eclectic mix in this collection. And ooh, I am excited because I'm seeing Switch stuff and I'm seeing sealed all kinds of good stuff. You guys know Switch uh, is my biggest collection, even though I've never done like a series on it. I'm just, I'm so excited. Trover saves the universe. Oh, this is a limited run. Nice. This is amazing. We've got, I told, I told you guys that I was going to start going through stuff before actually showing it, but I just, I can't, I'm too excited about this Switch stuff. Look at all that. I'm really excited to see if there's maybe any more. Ooh, we got Untitled Goose Game. That's kind of a fun one I have played before. Scully, Link's Awakening. Oh, it's Link's Awakening, not Link to the Past that was remastered on the Switch. This is one that I really do want to get to. Um, Ion Fury. You know what would really make my day? I've been looking for Monster Hunter on the Switch recently, and uh, to find that would be amazing. Ooh! This is a uh, premium edition game, I think. Yeah, premium edition 01, uh, Super Blood Hockey. <laughs> this is like a super. I mean, it's still it's still like uh, like SNES kind of pixel graphics, but it's it's uh, think like NFL Blitz, but even gorier. Dang, we've got a big stack of Switch games here. Lacrimosa of Dana. This is one that I played. Wasn't really for me. Um, Bendy and the Ink Machine, Slay the Spire, Doom 64 is another limited run. Ooh, we got Chasm limited run. Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. This is one that, um, is this the same one? Yeah, it was. That I played, uh, just on the plane ride down to a convention this last weekend. It was, like, it was okay. I wanted to like it more than I did, like, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I, the combat felt a little bit, like, simplistic and clunky. Um, Tower Fall, also limited run. This is fantastic. This is like, oh, this gets me so excited. Battle Axe. Uh, and then we've also got a bunch of Wii U stuff in here, which, again, not something like, I don't know. I mean, I can't say that I don't flip everything often. <laughs> but I feel like the most of what I flip is, like, PS2 and like GBA recently, like I do a bunch of Wii stuff. You guys know Wii U, not all that common. 
Less common than you would think. Ooh, the quest for cool stuff. I feel like this one is actually less common than you would think. You, you know, you think like Disney licensed title. Middle Country Public Library. Dude, that's a sweet library if you can rent video games from it, dang. Uh, Pikmin 2, we got planes. This, okay, this is getting a little bit cluttered and crazy, so I'm gonna do what I did before and organize it a little bit and then catch up with you guys. Well, folks, uh, this box was maybe, maybe as crazy as the other ones. It, I'm honestly, as we're going on, I'm realizing this is the, this is the craziest collection that we've ever bought. Not in terms of volume, but in terms of what's like the rarity of stuff that's actually in it. So starting out here, we've got a ton of Switch stuff. You can kind of pan across here, uh, just to give people an idea, a quick glimpse at all the titles that are in here. And I also found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games that I am going to keep for my personal collection, which I'm honestly really excited about. Uh, Pigeon Dev Game Collection uh, from Premium Edition Games. Super Blood Hockey, which we talked about earlier. Chasm, I'm gonna keep from Limited Run. The Neo Geo Pocket Color Selection Volume 1. I did not know this game exists. Being able to play Neo Geo Pocket games on the Switch is just, just such, it, it, it tickles me. What can I say? Tickle the like button. Sea of Solitude, the director's cut. Look at this, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 Remastered Twin Pack. I don't know why I haven't heard of this one. Was this, this is probably just available in Walmarts and I don't have it for some reason. Uh, West of Dead, Path of the Crow, this one's sealed. And Bubsy, Paws of Fire Limited Edition, just some fantastic additions to the Switch collection. And then all of these to boot that are either going to go, like, maybe they'll show up, like some of the more limited ones in a whatnot auction at some point, but uh, the rest of them, they're going on Amazon because that's the quickest. And folks, this might be the craziest thing of all. We're going through this and I'm just thinking to myself, dang, this is a lot of Wii U games. Like I've literally never bought this many Wii U games at once before. And I remembered <laughs> that Alec had a complete Wii U collection. Like this right here is every Wii U game. I'm gonna take you guys through it a little bit. Look at this. And these are just the like semi common ones. I actually put the most interesting ones to the side, which I'll show you guys individually. Some of these games, a lot of the ones in the protectors are actually sealed, which is kind of crazy. I would say maybe 10% or so of this collection was sealed on the Wii U side. And then I'll give this back to Spanky here. These games, some sealed titles, some just like crazy ones that you never see. Darksiders, Shakedown Hawaii, which is the last game that was ever made on the Wii U, and this one is indeed sealed, which is very interesting. Devil's Third, if you know, you know, this is like a $300 game. Game and Wario is also, I think, close to, it's like 150 to 200. Tank, Tank, Tank I pulled out because um, this was actually recommended to me at Siege. I was just, you know, checking out a booth and I look up and there's Metal Jesus just standing right there and he's like, you know, this is actually kind of a hidden gem on the Wii U, just like he does in his videos. It was amazing. I was like, I actually watched that video already, Jesus, but thank you. So, huh, I already knew that. I just don't like Wii U. No, I didn't say that. I was like, you're amazing. How can I be like you? The Legend of Zelda, do you know who Metal Jesus is? Nope. Spanky? No idea. You probably have, you're probably like, what the heck is happening? Very Are lost. you worshiping Satan right now? Uh, the, That's what I the, the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker uh, is sealed. Oh, geez, Spanky. You put this one in here Mario Tennis Ultra this Smash. This is actually my favorite Wii U game I've played. You haven't played this. Nope. <laughs> He's lying to you guys. You can't trust the man. Rainbow Run is sealed. This one's sealed. This one's actually cool. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. I don't know why I kept this in this pile. That was silly. Uh, we Party You and then We Sports Club. A couple ones definitely to look out for. They go for, I think, both 50 plus. Folks, I just, the fact that I forgot that I was buying a complete Wii U collection, it almost makes me sad that I'm not trying to collect Wii U. Although at the same time, I'm happy that I'm not trying to collect Wii U because this would be, this would ruin the fun of like going out and hunting for everything, you know? You guys, I'm all about that. I'm not as much about having a bunch of games that I'll probably never play, just for the sake of having them. That's just not, you know, if that's how you collect, I don't, I don't blame you. I'm not throwing stones, but that's not, you know, it doesn't have any appeal to me. 
So these are all going to get sold. Most of them are going to be on Amazon. The rarest ones, maybe we'll do on whatnot. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll take it case by case. Folks, we're three out of five boxes in to this purchase right now, and we're running out of room on this, on my workbench. Like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of insane. We're going to have to get this reorganized again and then dig into number four. Ah, folks, here it is. Here is the like 10 page invoice of all the stuff. And the amazing thing is it is itemized. So we will be able to go through and make sure that everything was here. So big props to Alex for doing that. It's just like a, he just exported the, um, the price charting list that we uh, both agreed on. So that's the smartest way to, oh, <laughs> wow. Dude, I did not know. I should have known. I should have looked a little bit closer. Apparently there are some boxed consoles in here, including the N64 TBH folks. Just gotta be real with you guys. I think this is staying with me. I don't know if I've ever gotten, have I ever bought a box Nintendo 64 before? I don't think I have. And this thing is going to look fantastic. Ooh, some might even say fantastic, except that it's not. Uh, right next to these guys right here. Oh, I'm excited about that. That just looks that just looks so nice. Thanks again, Alec, for these pieces that will have their permanent home in the Phoenix resale household. What just happened? <laughs> ah! Spanky, you're fired. Oh, that's gross. Ew, yellow fluorescent light. Okay, there we go. Um, limited run. What could this be? PlayStation? Ooh, oh, Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition from Limited Run. Is it from Limited Run? Or did he just use that box? I don't think it is. I think this is, uh... yeah, no, this is just original. This is awesome. Look at the Nintendo Power uh, little advertisement on the back there. Dang, this thing is pretty. This is gonna go straight into our, is this a sticker? You can tell I have not bought this game and sold it very much in the past because it's just, you know, not all that common. And we have another boxed console here, folks. Ooh, Super Mario 3D World Edition Wii U to go perfectly with the stacks and stacks of Wii U games over here. You just, you have to love to see that. That's fantastic. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. I'm shook. Folks, this is wild. We've got a whole bunch more. Is this some of the highest end? This stuff is like individually wrapped. Oh, dang, with acrylic protector cases. We got Metroid. I'm definitely going to uh, have to steal some of these protector cases for you guys can see up there. I just have some of the like cheaper plastic ones on my uh, boxed uh, Pokemon GBA games up there. Having something like this that's actually like, you know, thick and sturdy and really makes it hold its shelf shape is just so nice. Love seeing that. Uh, and I'm guessing we're about to see some like higher end GBA stuff in here. Look at that. I was minish cap. This one on Amazon goes for like 150 plus just game only. Again, not the kind of thing that I'll sell on Amazon, but very exciting to have. I think what's going to happen is in September at some point, we're going to have a Game Boy slash Game Boy Advance only auction. And spoiler alert, there's going to be some custom Phoenix resale mystery Game Boy games available. I don't have the design for those yet. I can't fully show you, but it's gonna be happening and, I, and I'm excited about it. Metroid Fusion, dang, this is amazing. We've got, again, Metroid 2 Return of Samus. This is just the condition on this thing. Get a load of it. No whiting at all. If I can't really tell if it's fully complete. I would guess that it is though. Holy cow, Alec. I'm glad that this collection is getting immortalized in a way in this video form because uh, it just, it deserves it. Zelda Oracle of Ages, incredible. Ooh, and we've got an original DS complete with the box and it's the special bundle edition, which again, folks, is just not something that I see all that often. Let's see if I can get this out of the, here we go. Box is in relatively nice shape. Metroid Prime Hunters edition of the original DS. This is the one that I had as a kid, except I had the, uh, the blue one.
another one. Oracle of Seasons in the super nice acrylic case. Oh, oh my gosh, it just keeps going, folks. Look at this, original Game Boy in the big box. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Let's uh, take a peek inside. Oh, it's just, uh, looks like it doesn't have the original like cardboard in there, um, but the Game Boy's in there. It looks like it's got some inserts. I don't really wanna take it all out now because we still have so much more to go in this box. This is something, could I see myself keeping it? Now that I am going to be in a position where I'll have more shelf space than I have previously, I think I tentatively might just go ahead and keep that. It looks so, how can you not? It looks so nice. Um, the Nintendo DSi XL in box. Safe and sound. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Wow, literally have never had one of these before. You, you guys just have to see it. I think you already got a peek. Holy cow. A boxed Virtual Boy console. Without the box, if you guys don't know, these are very uncommon. Without the box, I think it normally goes for seven to 800. You just don't see it. I mean, look at the design on this box. Look at the pure power, the contrast, the neon. This thing just screams. Actually, I don't know. Was it early 90s or late 80s that this was made? Oh, 95, so mid 90s. It screams mid 90s. It screams 1995. Power up, the original Duracell sticker on their advertisement. I'm just, this is a rush even holding this. Really, really exciting. I didn't really expect having that. I knew that this was part of that lot. I didn't expect having such a strong reaction. This is the kind of item that is going to go into that high-end auction that I'm doing. Um, I don't know, at some point the week that this video drops. Again, Jake, thanks for your help on that one. And it keeps going. Look at this, I won't even take these all the way out of the plastic. Oh, okay, okay this one I will. <laughs> I just lied to you guys. Look at this, a Game Boy Pocket, I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, in the box. I've ne Again, I've never had one of these. Thank you, squinting. Have you ever seen one of these? I've seen one. I've never <laughs> had one. Really cool. Love that silver. We'll just stack that right there. Um, do I have this? Look up there. Look at, up there on the shelf. Do I have the blue Game Boy Advance? I don't. So you can go behind there a little bit and see up there's the flame red behind that Game Boy Advance SP case. And then there's a couple AGS 101 models and there's a platinum model. I don't yet have a nice condition in box cobalt blue Game Boy Advance SP, which is the one that I had as a kid. I just, I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, it's a Alec. Blue. Coming in clutch, what'd you say? It's a beautiful blue. It is, I, I, oh, I love that color. Really brings me back. Holy cow. We've got a inbox original 3DS. We've got a, ooh, Glacier White Game Boy Advance complete in box. We've got, what is this? Ooh, a grape Game Boy Color in the box. Is this what you had? Really? Yep. That's amazing. Does this does this box bring you back? Yeah. I'm this, this was the color and everything. Yep. Dang, dude, that's amazing. White. I. It was this called Polar White? DSi. I can't remember. You guys will have to remind me of the color. And then last but not least, we've got the black DS Lite. Again, with the original box. I'm gonna end up keeping so much stuff from this deal that I'm not gonna make any money. <laughs> but you know what? It, it's just like that sometimes, folks. There are worse problems to have. Um, boy, I am so excited. Looks like in this, We've got a couple of, no, just one Game Boy Advance, Glacier, you guys probably can't see that, and then a light blue 
DSi. And this brings us folks to the last box of the purchase. I don't know how we could possibly top that one. That was just, that was just a rush to look through. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and pop it open and see what it is. Folks, box number five, here it is. Looks like we've got some more GameCube stuff in here. Oh my gosh. And even more boxed games. Wow, looks like a lot of NES. Is this the rest of the NES boxed collection? It might be. We're gonna go ahead and sort through these and fill you guys in on all of the coolest ones. So folks, here is the final box. Thank you, you can kind of pan across these front ones here. A lot of good stuff. I'm sure I'll be surprised by the value of some of these. Only a few of them really stuck out to me as ones that I recognized and that I've sold before. Um, first one being here, Double Dragon 3. Complete, of course, Gauntlet 2. And then we've got the absolute classics of all time, Super Mario Bros. 2 and 3. And that will conclude this most easily most insane collection that has ever come in the door. The total price charted value of everything here, according to this invoice, and we'll have to go through and make sure that, you know, it all is here, is in the neighborhood of $26,000, <laughs> which uh, will make it very close to, if not the most expensive purchase that we've ever done as well, which I'm very grateful for. It is, the, the timing of it is a little bit sticky because we are buying a house right now and our funds are a little bit low, but by golly, we will make it work for something like this. Um, and hopefully be churning that money pretty quick with, um, you know, the stuff that we'll be selling. The highest end stuff we'll be selling quickly on whatnot and hopefully getting some of those funds back. Um, like this thing, the uh, Super Mario 3D World, probably some of the highest end Wii U stuff, some of these um, Game Boy games, I would guess, and then the rest of the, like, box stuff, if there are hidden gems that I'm finding. Uh, along with a bunch of, like, down here, We've had some of these graded games that are listed on eBay for a while that will also be thrown into that auction. We've got limited time. I think we only have like an hour time slot. But anyways, that's coming up later this week. The link to it will be in the description. Let me know what you guys, what your favorite part of this collection was. I can't wait to just start going through it and figuring out what is worth what and uh, you know, just continuing to be pleasantly surprised by this whole process. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys on the flip.